Hi guys, it's Missy. Hi, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I thought it would be fun to sit down and share with you some of my favorite products that I have been using over the past couple months or even longer than that. So the first product I have right here is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water All-in-One. This removes makeup like nobody's business. I used to use wipes exclusively and they started burning my eyes after I had LASIK surgery and it was hard to find something that didn't burn my eyes that would take my regular mascara off, waterproof mascara, eyeliner, anything. This is so amazing. It has no scent, doesn't burn my eyes. This giant jug right here will last me forever and it retails for between, I believe, $10 and $15 for this giant tub. The next product that I have been loving is the CEO Sunday Riley Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream, and this smells so good, but the way this makes my skin feel is heavenly. It goes on, it's a bit thick, so I didn't think I'd like it at first, but it, it's so hydrating and it's so rich and creamy. It doesn't break me out. It does retail for $65 for this, so it is on the pricey side, but to me, it is worth every penny. Right along, same as skincare, is the Bare Mineral Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion Serum. This is so light, it lasts forever, and it is, it made my skin just the wrinkles I saw go away. I have right here, over here somewhere, I have a lot of wrinkles and this firmed them up. I, I was shocked. I didn't realize it was this until I stopped using it and then I realized, oh my gosh, I need this back. This one I believe retails for between $40 and $50, but this will last you forever. And it's thin, it's not greasy, it doesn't break me out, doesn't sting. Love this. So let's move into some eye care. I almost forgot about this. I mentioned this in my last video or the video before that in uh, the Olay Eyes Lifting uh, Eye Lifting Serum. So good. Makes my eyeshadow just go on so smooth. I use this day and night and it just firmed my eyelids right up. I believe I started seeing results in two to three weeks of my eyelids firming. This does retail between $25 and $35. You can get this on sale a lot. So watch for it to go on sale, but highly recommend this product as well. So moving on from skincare, I am going to go into one of my favorite hair care items, and this is the Love Beauty and Planet line. I believe you can get this at Walmart and Target. Not sure where else they're sold. I got this one at Target, and this is the Coconut Milk and White Jasmine Beachy Texture Salt Spritz. Whenever I have my hair curly like this, I love to spray this in here and just kind of scrunch it. It smells, oh, it smells so good. It, and it lasts and people are like, oh, what perfume are you wearing? No, it's my hair, it's my hair spritz. So, and they are free of alcohol, silicones, parabens, dyes. It, this is, this stuff is so good. Moving into some body care. The first is the Ren Pure Coconut Milk and vitamin E body wash. First of all, this giant tub is maybe $10, maybe. But what I love about this is it smells amazing and there's no sulfates, parabens, dyes, gluten, phthalates, and propylene glycol. When I use this, my skin does not feel dried out, stripped. I love it in the winter. I use it all year round, but I love it in the winter because my skin just it's so moisturized after I use this. It's crazy. And I never found a body wash that I love so much. And I will continue to repurchase this. Also, okay. I am so clumsy. Okay. The next thing is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. This giant tub is under $6. It smells great. I'm almost out of it. But this is such a good exfoliant for if I'm getting a self tan or if I'm sh right before I shave I use this and it just makes my legs so smooth I use this on my elbows on my feet I've used it on my face once or twice doesn't seem to bother that at all 
it's so good and it's six bucks amazing so makeup time for primer one of my favorites is the Ulta Beauty hydrating face primer this almost feels like a moisturizer when you put it on but there it does something with the skin that makes foundation just look so good it's not pore minimizing or anything so I will put in um, either the poreless putty primer or another pore filling primer on top of this but this is so good again especially in the winter because my skin is so dry for foundation I have the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour wear foundation I am in the shade 420 it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything at all you can build this up to full coverage and they have a wonderful shade range people were complaining about the scent but I find you put it on and the scent goes away I don't know and it's cheap I'm you will notice that so many of the products I talk about are drugstore and it is so important to me because I have you know I'm on a budget and I can't just spend all this money on makeup and the drugstore has just as good of products if not better than some of the high-end stuff so that's why you hear me talk about a lot of drugstore there we go but this foundation, I recommended it to my friend who has tried different foundations and she loved it. So you should give this a try if you haven't already. For concealer, so this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and this has been around forever. I have gone through, this is my third or fourth tube of this. But what I love to use this for is I keep this in my purse and it's a quick touch up. It's also good if I just have like a no makeup kind of makeup day. It's not full coverage, but it just looks so natural. So good, so cheap, again from the drugstore. For blush-ish, this is the NYX Bear With Me Hydrating Cheek Tint. This is in the shade Creative Cleanse. I have this on right now and it just gives, dropping things, it gives such a nice, flush of color and I put this on before powder and it still pokes through and it just is stunning. I've added this on the lips before too and it's super pretty, super quick. I use To apply this I usually either just use my fingers or I'll use a beauty sponge. I apply it that way too. For, I'm going in all kinds of order today. For setting spray, this I found on a fluke. So when I was going on vacation, I was looking for a small setting spray that I didn't want to leak everywhere. I didn't want to pack a huge clunky setting spray. And I saw this at Target in the travel aisle and thought, you know what, I'm gonna try this. And it's the Garnier Soothing Facial Myth. Myth. Garnier <laughs> Soothing Facial Mist. So you can, it says you can use this before your makeup, after your makeup to refresh your face but I like this because it smells great and it just it I spray this on and it just melts everything together and it doesn't affect the finish of my makeup some spreading setting sprays make your makeup look matte or glowy etc this doesn't change the finish at all it's just a good setting spray again that I can just pop in my purse love this one so I recently tried the Huda Beauty Mauve, Mauve Obsessions palette. This, these shades are so cute. They are, and they're so pigmented. They're easy to blend out. They all work together well. Again, this is something that I like that I can just pop in a travel makeup bag. I can make several looks out of it. There's no fallout. And I really like this. I know they have other, um, little 9 p.m. palettes like this, but this is the only one that I've tried and I really am liking it. So lips, I have two things here. The first is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, and I know they make a ton of shades in this. I picked up the shade Inspirer, and it's just this gorgeous kind of mauve pink, and once it's on your lips, you guys, it does not budge. It does not move. So it is matte and I tend to stay away from matte things. But the reason I like this is it stays in place all day. I can apply a balm or a gloss on top. It doesn't move the product. So it just makes this look, 
it's like my lips are stained but I also have the gloss on top so this is so pretty and there's a shade for everybody out there and last but not least last thing in my bin this is also from Maybelline this is the color sensational lip stick I have the shade baddest beige and it is the perfect keep in your purse nude color you can see that it's the perfect nude it's comfortable it doesn't last the longest but again it's a no mirror apply it on you're done it hides it hydrates the lips and is stunning and they also have more shades in this I just love this formula in this shade because it gives me something to put on my lips that's not a huge pop of color but just something there and I don't need a mirror keep it in my purse so that is it for my favorites for right now um, if you like the look I'm wearing you can catch it in my last video and I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me some love hit the like button subscribe comment whatever you feel like doing and I'll see you next time bye guys